Hello, um, back with another microphone review or opening or whatever. Um, I've been using this for a while. That's why it's so dirty. Uh, I'm going to turn it on. Turn this on too. All right. Yeah, turn it on. And then turn on the other one. We'll turn on the other one while we're at it. So you see all the lights. All right. Um, I've been messing with this. Uh, it sounds good. It sounds decent as long as you stay fairly close. We're going to have to go out and do the distance range because I haven't done it yet. But I have been using this in a couple of my videos. Um, I messed up on one video and had the reverb on. But I used this in a couple videos. Uh, it does not sound bad. Um, this is an inexpensive set. And it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. It has uh, dual USB-Cs. And it has your regular USB to USB, and then there you got your USB to to lightning port or whatever the Apple version is. And then it comes with all these little adapters. There's a three to a two, and then you have your an earphone so that you can listen in. Like this one, this is the receiver. Like the receiver, you can plug in your headphones and you can listen to what's going on. Uh, there, I guess there's no, the adjustment would be on the side. Um, no. All right. So you can like take this and plug your earphones in and you can hear what's being recorded uh or oh, wait a minute now okay with these you can plug these into your receiver and this one doesn't have the the cat thing on it but this is what the this one looks like but you can plug it into the receiver and you can hear everything that's going on if you have a lavalier microphone, you can plug that in and you can input through that instead of this. But it's pretty nice. It, it's kind of light. I don't like how bulky it is, but it is USB-C. Uh, this receiver will come out from here into your camera. If you have like a DSLR, this will go straight into it. Or you can do this and plug it directly into a phone. And then you take your phone and you plug your phone directly into it. Uh, nope, it doesn't show you. Here. Oh, here he is. Look over here on the left. This is the pro version. This is just a regular program any phone program should do. If you plug it in, that right there pops up and then the little meter comes up and that will tell you and this just uses, this is just used like this. And when you're talking now, you're recording into that. See all that, the voice going up and down? It's actually recording. It's actually recording off this microphone here. Uh, uh, all right. But it's actually recording off another microphone. That microphone right there. But, see, it's just a USB mic. That's all it is. It comes out on the phone. It just comes out as a USB mic. And you plug it in. Boom. It knows it right away. Just f links up just like that, and you use it. There's no... Let me see if it shows up on this. Let me... No, it doesn't tell you on there. But when you start recording, let's see. If I start recording... 
Yeah, it says recording audio through USB mic at the bottom. Let me pull it out. Let's see if I can. Oh, I gotta stop it. There we go. Alright, so all you have to do is plug it in, and it's the phone knows that there's a USB mic connected. That's how all these microphones that I've tested so far, all of them work exactly the same way. You just plug it into your phone. Your phone knows that it's a USB microphone. It kills the microphone on the phone itself, and it gets all its audio from the USB mic. I'm, I, I knew I have lots of people asking about this, and I'm getting texts that people were asking about this. But, yeah, this is essentially what's going on. Um, Alright, back, back to the thingy. Alright, these are actually pretty decent. The sound quality is good. I need to test the distance. I have not tested the distance yet. And so far, I can say that these are actually pretty good. Depending on what the distance is, the quality is not bad quality is not bad on it at all I don't know why they leave all this on but one's for noise reduction and the other one is the I think yeah one's for noise reduction that's that one and this one's for the um, 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 reverb and they're crap but Noise reduction, it seems to work pretty good. I don't feel that there's a lot of the digital type sound, like the processing type sound. But it seems to work pretty good. Um, yeah, I like this. I really like this microphone so far. Um, and, and like I said, we need to do the testing on the distance. Um, if the distance pans out, it, it, I'm going to say recommend it. I'll let you know at the end of the video. But as far as sound quality, as close and even outside, uh, I've already tested this. Like like I said, I've done a couple of videos already. And the sound quality is sounds pretty good. It's muffled, like all the sound around you. And as long as it's not too aggressive sounding you don't really hear the stuff too far out of there it, it can only do so much but it does reduce the voice that isn't as prominent so it does this job and I don't think these are very expensive I can't remember what the price is I will put it up but I think they're pretty decent all right, I'll let you know in the next segment when we go test the, test the distance, and then I'll come back and we'll see how it goes. So, this is the common. And... Uh, first thing I'm going to do is, got it on, let's see how it sounds. This should be the reverb. Hear what the reverb sounds like. Turn that back off. And hear what it sounds like now. This is what noise cancellation sounds like. Alrighty, now I'm going to turn it off. Okay, now I just have the regular microphone on. No special. So I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put all the microphones like this. Second rung, same area. All right, I can see that you, you got good sound right now, but now I'm gonna take a walk. See what you got. You should still be able to hear me. I hope so right here is 30 feet 
you should still be able to hear me. 30 feet, you should hear me. Now I'm facing you. But now we're going to go to 60 feet. Let's go. Going 60 feet. Now you should be able to hear me still as I'm walking along. But I don't know. You'll have to see. Now I'm at 60 feet. All right. And with my back towards you, you should be able to hear me, hopefully. Now I'm going to turn my front towards you. I'm looking at the microphone. Now, that's 60 feet. Now, I'm going to turn around. We're going to do 90 feet. And as I'm walking along, walking along, walking along, as I'm going down the street, on out, now this right here, is nine. Link back in. All right. So, this is 90 feet away from you. Hear the birds? That's noise reduction. Can you still hear the birds? Hopefully, you can hear the difference in this at 90 feet towards you. All right, turn it back off. Turn it back on. 90 feet. Walking back towards you. Hopefully everything's good. Now I'm at 60 feet. You should be able to hear me still. I'm going back up here to 30. It should sound better. I got lots of birds making noise. They're upset. But, all right, there's 30 feet. Now we're going to keep on going. Go up. Uh, as far as this thing, I like it. It's light. Fits on the chest. Does pretty good. I have to stand back here. It's light. Fits on the chest. Pretty good. I don't know. Pretty good, pretty good. Can't say anything bad about it. So, go back inside. We'll hear what it sounds like and I'll give you my thoughts okay so you heard the sound on it um, sound quality is not bad on this until you got to probably around the 70 foot mark then it started cutting out and then when you got down when I got down to the 90 mark and I had my back facing you the controller actually just shut down well it didn't shut down it disconnected from the receiver so it, this disconnected from this and I had to reconnect it in order to to get it to log back on to actually can reconnect to this and I had to turn around in order to do that and you can see you'll see in the picture uh, when it went on when it went down now after I went down and actually turned my facing you then it was reconnected and it would work uh, it did work at 90 feet pointed towards you and it sounds pretty good but I would say this, I would not go any farther than 60 feet. Because this is the first microphone that I've had where I went 90 feet and it disconnected from the receiver. And I thought that was so weird. I, and in order to get it to reconnect, I had to turn this off and then turn it back on. 
I couldn't just hit the reconnect button. It had to be turned off and turned back on in order to reconnect to that. Once it disconnects, it, it does that. I don't know, understand why. But if you're staying 60 feet up, then I would say this is a good receiver. It's a little bulkier than the rest, but it does have a dead cat, which is really nice. And it does have options for microphones and for to hear what's going on. And here there's there's a, for the microphone. And then you can listen to yourself while you're talking. Which is pretty good. So there's lots of options on here. I just wish they would figure out. Maybe they can do an... A firmware update I don't know if this is gonna work but this is what needs to happen there's something involved here where once it goes out of range it disconnects and it won't reconnect to this until you shut it off and then turn it back on totally up to you whatever uh, make your own opinion uh, I'll leave a link down below, Amazon link where I got it from, and it will be an affiliate link. It'll give me a little kickback onto the channel that I can buy more products to test out so that you guys don't have to buy all these products. And um, like I said, subscribe, like, let me know down below if there's something you want me to eat. To, to look at or if there's something I did wrong let me know if you guys are having any problems with this if you own it but let me know um, I'll talk to you later bye